back to my channel. My name's Crystal. I'm a money savings coach and I'm here to help you, yes, you, save money so that you can live the life that you love and reach your big financial goals. For today's video, we're at my favorite store of all times. We are at CVS and I'm going to be doing a CVS haul today. So I want to do probably like two or three deals. I'm going to do possibly Revlon. I haven't decided depending on if they got some lipsticks or lip gloss that I want. But I'm going to do a spin 20, get five. I want to get some all detergent, Tide Pods, Febreze, and I'm going to get a Crest just to get me like over the threshold because I was only a couple dollars away from it. And then I'm definitely going to do the soft soap, hand soap because we could always use hand soap. So we're going to go ahead, dive into CVS. I will be paying with Flu's gift cards. So if you do not have the Flu's app, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about it in the store. But right now, you want to download the app. The link is in the description box. And basically, you earn cash back for purchasing gift cards at certain stores. So CVS is one of the stores. And that way, I don't have to pay my own cash out of pocket. I can use the cash that I've earned from buying CVS gift cards. So if it's your first time using the app, you can download it. Use my referral code, Maximizer21 buy your first gift card and you'll have three 35 percent cashback offers to use and one of them can be used at cvs so let's go ahead and dive right into my cvs hole so i hope y'all can hear me because my microphone literally broke after i was shopping at walgreens and i'm gonna have to go on amazon uh tomorrow and buy a new one if i don't get one tonight but the first deal we're gonna do is a soft soap i decided not to do revlon because i don't have any revlon manufacturer coupons and the lip gloss I wanted is now $11.49 and it used to be $9.99. And I don't want to pay $5 for Revlon lip gloss. That's too much. So we're going to do this soft soap. Let me show you the deal. They are four for $10, okay? And when you buy four, you get a $5 extra buck. So we are going to go ahead and grab four of them. Um, I really like the white berry and tea, but I want to try this vanilla and coconut. And then outside of those... We like just the regular antibacterial so we're gonna get two of these and i do have some printables i was able to print two printables because we can use two of them so we're gonna use those two and i do have two dollars in extra bucks that i need to burn they expire in like two days so i'm gonna use them but let me find my social coupon so i have two 50 cents soft soap coupons that I'm going to use. So we're going to pay $9 and get $5 back. So it makes these a dollar each, which is great to get the 11.5 ounces for a dollar because we can get this size for $1.25 at Dollar Tree. And then I think at Walmart, they're a little over a dollar too. So to get the big size for a dollar, that's a great deal. We always need hand soap. So I was like, you know what? I can't pass up on it. So now we're going to do the spend 20, get five deal. And let me show you what we're going to grab. All right, so here's the deal we're doing. You can see it's a spin 20 on select P&G Scott All Snuggle, and we're gonna get $5 and extra bucks. So what we're gonna do is we're getting one all because we have a $1 all instant CVS CRT that we're gonna use. We have that one right here. I'm also grabbing one Tide Pods because they are $5.49 and the liquid is not included and I grab a liquid from Walgreens today so we're gonna grab a uh, Tide Pods and I was able to print a two dollar Tide Pod coupon from P&G Brand Saver because I do not get inserts and this actually expires tomorrow today as you can see is the 27th when I'm recording this and this expires on the 28th so the P&G printables expire the next day so make sure you use them up and then the other things I'm gonna grab are for Breeze and Crest okay I think I'm supposed to get two alls if I'm not mistaken, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab another one. If that, I think I'm supposed to grab one extra all and one extra for breeze. Okay, so I'm getting two alls, even though I only have one dollar. Still gonna come out to a great deal, and I'll show you how. All right, maximizers, here is our small but mighty haul. We are doing two transactions, my friends, because I am going to show you how you can get your out of pocket low, low, low at CBS. So. I haven't been, uh, this is my second time I think to CVS this month, but I think the last time I went was the last week of January. 
so it's been a month i haven't spent any of my coupon budget here so i don't want to exceed about 15 to 20 dollars cash out of pocket and we're absolutely going to be able to do that and i'm going to show you how if you are new to cvs this is the strategy i suggest you use so that way you can keep your out of pocket low this deal these deals are also going to be good for any newbie anyone who has access to one the cvs app which we all do because it's completely free and then two access to a printer to print off the coupons that i'm showing you so the first deal we're going to do is the soft soap deal now this deal is by four and you get five dollars in extra bucks okay and they are four for ten dollars so here on my transaction breakdown we put the soft soap we put it for ten dollars i have two 50 cents off one manufacturer coupons that i printed from the soft soap website anyone can go there you create a free account so there's uh 50 cents off of each one so that's going to leave us with a total of nine dollars now i do have two dollars in extra bucks that i earned the last time i went shopping at cvs they expired in two days so i wanted to make sure that i use them so that's why i'm here today you see it expires on march 1st and it is currently february 27th so our total is nine dollars after coupons but we're going to get back i'm sorry but we're going to use two dollars in extra bucks to further lower that so we're only going to pay seven dollars plus tax at the register for that first transaction but we're going to get back a five dollar extra buck so our total after coupons subtract our rewards nine subtract five is four dollars so that makes each bottle of hand soap just a dollar each which is pretty epic like i said earlier so then i'm going to take the five dollar extra buck that i earned from transaction number one i'm gonna roll it that means i'm gonna use it for transaction number two to further lower my cash out of pocket are you with me now so for this transaction it is spend twenty dollars and you get five dollars in cvs extra bucks so what we're gonna grab is we're grabbing three for breezes they're 2.99 each we're grabbing one crest toothpaste it's 2.99 we're grabbing one all not two at 3.99 and we're grabbing one tie pods at 5.49 now that brings our total to 21 dollars and 41 cents now i do have a crt on here that you may not have if you are new to cvs but again the name of this game is to use what you have to get what you need without paying full price i'll say it again use what you have to get what you need without paying full price so the coupons we're going to use is we have a two dollar manufacturer coupon that i printed from png brand saver that anyone can print um so create an account at png brand saver just know that these coupons expire within 24 hours of printing so that's for the tide there is a one dollar off crt that i have for all that's in my account so i have that i'm going to use i also have a three dollar off two coupon for febreze and i have a two dollar crest coupon so i'm going to use all those coupons my total after coupons is going to be thirteen dollars and 44 cents again i'm going to take the five dollar extra buck we earned from here i have scissors in my bag we're going to use that we're going to pay eight dollars and 44 cents plus tax and we're going to get back another five dollar extra buck so if we do our price after coupons, subtract our rewards, our final cost for one, two, three, four, five, six items is going to be $8.44, which is like a dollar and some change each, which is absolutely amazing for these items. I'm totally okay with it. It's like a dollar and 40 cents per item. Great. Overall, we're gonna pay $7.14, about $7.14, $15 and change out of pocket plus tax. And we're going to leave with five dollars and extra bucks to use for next time that's the name of the game my friends it's not about always getting everything for a dollar or free it's about getting what you need these are all things that we need toothpaste ugh, borderline do we need it but it's always something that we can add to the stockpile and honestly after getting these things that we need more urgently i needed about two dollars to get to my next um to get to the twenty dollars and this was the best thing to grab because there was a two dollar coupon so that's why I grabbed the toothpaste. So now we're gonna go over to Flues, the app I told you about where I'm gonna purchase a gift card from. I'm actually gonna buy two gift cards, okay? So we're gonna go to CVS. You have to put in your form of payment, which is how you're gonna pay. Now, I am going to buy two $10 gift cards. And the reason I'm doing that instead of buying 120 is because you earn up to 35% cash back on the first, whoops, I don't wanna use Apple Pay, on the first uh, $10. So I want to use my flu's balance because I have $42. Okay, so now it's saying I'm using my balance. I'm going to earn $3.95. So I'm going to put in my passcode. And then I'm going to have one $10 gift card. And then I'm going to 
do it all over again and buy another $10 gift card. And that's what I'm gonna use to pay at the register. Now, if you're just starting out with flus, you won't have a balance, but you can pay with whatever credit or debit card you were gonna pay at the register and then earn that cash back. And once you earn $26 in cash back, you can use that cash back to purchase gift cards or you can cash out to PayPal or write to your bank account. So I like to just use my cash back for the most part and uh, buy more gift cards, okay? So now I'm gonna do it again and I'll be sure to show y'all exactly how much cash back I earned between both of these transactions, okay? So we are gonna head to the register and I'll let y'all know how it goes when we get back to the car. I'm super excited. Maximizers. CVS went even better. Okay, so um, I put a screenshot up on the screen but for transaction number one, our subtotal was $7 just as we expected. All of our coupons came off and we earned our $5 in extra bucks. So transaction number one, all of our soft soaps comes out to a dollar each after we earn back our extra bucks. Great transaction. But as I was getting my receipt and I got the long string of CRTs, a $2 off 12, $2 for $12 purchase, printed out from transaction number one. And I was like, yes. Since transaction number two was my bigger transaction, I didn't have any other threshold coupons. I was like, hell yeah, we're gonna use it. So, instead of my subtotal being $8.44 plus tax, it was $6.44 plus tax. Ah, okay. So let me just do the math again for y'all so you can see, oh, and I ripped my receipt. But it's even cheaper, okay? So, if we're at $8.44, that's how much it was. Subtract the extra $2 in coupons. Holy crap. Okay, hold on. Let me look at my breakdown really quick. Like, I'm so excited. Like, I literally just walked out the store and your girl is like on a high. Okay, so let me just do this again. $13.44 was our total after coupons. We got an extra $2 in coupons. So that brings our total to $11.44 after all of our coupons. Subtract the $5 in extra bucks we're going to get back. So we're gonna do 644 divided by six items, right? Divided by six. It makes each item a dollar and seven cents. So the all, the Tide Pods, the Crest, the Febreze, a dollar and seven cents for those items. This is why I love couponing. What did I say? Use what you have to get what you need for the lowest price possible. Use what you have to get what you need for the lowest price possible. I'm so grateful for couponing. Let me know down in the comments what you're doing at CVS this week. If anything, I'm about to go home, get ready for my live, get these videos up. I probably post one today and post one tomorrow on Monday. I'm just so excited. So let me know if you're shopping at CVS and if you're like, Crystal, I need help. I wanna be able to learn how to maximize my dollars like you. The Money Saving Academy is only open until February 28th for a dollar a day. You join after February 28th, the price is gonna be more and I'm also not reopening the academy until the springtime. So if you really wanna get in and start learning from me to learn how to strategically shop and not focus so much on getting everything for free or for pennies, you wanna focus on intentionally spending your money on the things that you need so you have more money to live the life that you love, come get inside my Money Saving Academy and let's work together, moneysavingacademy.com, all right? Tons of links are down in the description box. I'm gonna leave my Walgreens video up here so y'all can check that out as well. Um, I wanna thank you all so much for your love and support. I appreciate each and every one of you. Stay safe out there as you are shopping. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.